Wanna make some ground beef today? Welcome to another episode of turning something into something else with the edgy veg. That's me. Hi. Hello. I had too much coffee today. Hi. How are you? Good. Do you wanna make some beef out of walnuts and mushrooms? Cause that's exactly what we're doing today. And if you're new here and you're like, what is this girl talking about? Hi, I'm Candice the Edgy Veg. I make vegan recipes that are delicious and interesting. I take things and turn them into something else. Like today, taking mushrooms and walnuts and turning them into a meatless ground beef that is homemade and delicious and good for you. If you're new here, hit the subscribe button as well as the bell notification. If you like recipes, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you have recipe requests, you can leave them in the comment section down below. All right, so a couple months ago, maybe a year ago, how long ago did I do this? Probably two years ago now. I turned walnuts into ground beef. That's a video that we did. And walnuts are expensive. So I was trying to figure out other ways to kind of make that recipe a little bit more accessible to the average person, make it less expensive. And this recipe really is for people that don't love buying like the processed meat substitutes, but I didn't want you to have to break the bank. So there's a couple different ways that I've updated this recipe. One is that I'm using half mushrooms, half walnuts. When I originally did this, we did half sunflower seeds and half walnuts to cut down the cost there. But mushrooms have that like meaty bite. They have that umami that meat has. And I just think it's a better substitute. You can also do this with cauliflower, but again, you're not getting that like umami from a cauliflower, but it definitely helps bulk it up and you get the same idea. So yeah, let's do it. It's a super easy recipe. You can use this on tacos. You can use it in burritos. You can use it in pasta sauce, lasagna, uh, whatever you want. For our mushrooms, you can use whatever mushroom is cheapest or you have. Cremini mushrooms are a good, like, staple, basic, inexpensive mushroom, but mushrooms, um, I have a bunch of, like a mishmash of mushrooms left over from a couple recipes that we've been testing. So I'm just going to use a bunch of them. I'm just gonna put them in the food processor and process them until they are chopped. You can just roughly chop them or just break them with your hands. This is also, if you have a ton of stems, this is a great way to use them. It's really that easy. So it just takes a couple of rotations and it's chopped. All right, so heat some olive oil in a pan and just cook the mushrooms. Add a little pinch of salt. What this will do is help the mushrooms to release their liquid. That's where all that tasty, tasty flavor is. All right, now just do the exact same thing with the walnuts. I've soaked these walnuts overnight. It just kind of some of the walnutty flavor, makes them a little bit softer. And to our walnuts, we're just going to add some spices. We've got some cumin, paprika, garlic powder, salt, onion powder, all the tasty tastiness. And again, you want it to like kind of crumble. So you wanna cook your mushrooms for about six to eight minutes or until the liquid is released and they start to brown. It smells so good already. I mean, you can't go wrong with these spices. And then the mushrooms, come on. You know mushrooms are my favorite. All right, now I'm going to add in some soy sauce as well as some olive oil. And I don't want it to get much smaller in size. I'm just gonna kind of move it around. It'll all come together in the pan anyway. All right, so you want it to be kind of something like this. It's broken down quite a bit. It's nice and moist. It smells great, it's browning. We are almost there. Okay, now you can add your walnut mixture to your mushroom mixture. Mixture, mixture, mixture. Your mushroom mixture. Say that 12 times fast. All right, for serving, like I said, you can put this in tacos, you can put it in burritos, you can use it in a, like a tomato sauce, make like a bolognese if you want to. Today, we are going to have it in tacos.
All right, I have my little taco here. I prefer this. Um, I love this like version of plant-based ground beef in a taco. I think it's so delicious and flavorful and it has like a little bit of, I don't know, the bite. I love the bite from the, uh, the walnuts. Let's try it. Mm. Mm. This is unbelievable. Like if you like the original recipe, you're going to freaking love this one. Mm. Definitely rent out walk and make it. You know what? Sometimes I outdo myself. So yeah, there is the updated recipe. I think you're going to love it. So definitely make it. If you have recipe requests, leave them in the comment section down below. If you like this video where I take something and turn it into something else or update my own recipe, give this video a big thumbs up. And if you're new here, do the thing, the like, the subscribe, let YouTube know that you like me and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. Hell yeah. Thank you.